The Republic XF-84 Rage Thunder Screech was an experimental turboprop aircraft derived from the F-84 Ref Thunder Streak. Powered by a turbine engine that was mated to a supersonic propeller, the XF-84 Rage had the potential of setting the unofficial airspeed record for propeller-driven aircraft, but was unable to overcome aerodynamic deficiencies and engine reliability problems, resulting in the program's cancellation. Originally known as XF-106, the project and its resultant prototype aircraft were redesignated XF-84H, closely identifying the program as an F-84 variant, rather than an entirely new type. With a projected contract for three prototypes, when the US Navy cancelled its order, ultimately, the remaining XF-84H prototypes became pure research aircraft built for the Air Force's propeller laboratory at Wright-Patterson AFB to test supersonic propellers in exploring the combination of propeller responsiveness at jet speeds. The XF-84H was created by modifying a F-84 ref airframe, installing a 5,850-horsepower Allison XT-40A1 turboprop engine in a centrally located housing behind the cockpit with a long extension shaft to the nose-mounted propeller. Thrust was adjusted by changing the blade pitch of the 12-feet diameter Rare Products propeller, consisting of three steel, square-tipped blades turning at a constant speed, with the tips traveling at approximately Mach 1.18. To counter the propeller stock and P-factor, the XF-84H was fitted with a fixed dorsal yaw vane. The tail was changed to a T-tail to avoid turbulent airflow over the horizontal stabilizer-slash-elevator surfaces from propeller wash. The XF-84H was destabilized by the powerful torque from the propeller, as well as inherent problems with supersonic propeller blades. A number of exotic blade configurations were tested before settling on a final design. The two prototypes were equally plagued with engine-related problems affecting other aircraft fitted with T-40 engines, such as the Douglas XA-2D Skyshark and North American A-2J Super Savage attack aircraft. A notable feature of the design was that the XF-84H was the first aircraft to carry a retractable-slash-extendable ram air turbine. Due to frequent engine problems, as a precaution, the unit was often deployed in flight. After manufacture at Republic's Farmingdale, Long Island, plant, the two XF-84HS were disassembled and shipped via rail to Edwards Air Force Base for flight testing. It was unsuited to combat due to the engine's 30-minute warm-up time but the most serious concerns were vibration generated from the 12-foot propeller diameter and mechanical failures of the prop pitch gearing. The prototypes flew a total of 12 test flights from Edwards, accumulating only 6 hours and 40 minutes of flight time. Lynn Hendricks, one of the Republic test pilots assigned to the program, flew the aircraft once and refused to ever fly it again, claiming it never flew over 450 knots indicated, since at that speed. It developed an unhappy practice of snaking, apparently losing longitudinal stability. The other test flights were fraught with engine failures, and persistent hydraulic, nose gear, and vibration problems. Test pilot Hank Baird took the XF-84H up 11 times, with 10 of these flights ending in forced landings. The XF-84H was almost certainly the loudest aircraft ever built, earning the nickname Hunter Screech as well as the mighty Earbanger. Unlike standard propellers that turn at subsonic speeds, the outer 24 to 30 inches of the blades on the XF-84H's propeller traveled faster than the speed of sound even at idle thrust, producing a continuous visible sonic boom that radiated laterally from the propellers for hundreds of yards. Coupled with the already considerable noise from the subsonic aspect of the propeller and the T-40's dual turbine sections, the aircraft was notorious for inducing severe nausea and headaches among ground crews. In one report, a Republic engineer suffered a seizure after close-range exposure to the shock waves emanating from a powered-up XF-84H. The pervasive noise also severely disrupted operations in the Edwards AFB control tower by risking vibration damage to sensitive components and forcing air traffic personnel to communicate with the XF-84H's crew on the flight line by light signals. The Air Force Flight Test Center directed Republic to tow the aircraft out on Rogers Dry Lake, far from the flight line, before running up its engine. 
the test program did not proceed further than the manufacturer's phase I proving flights. Consequently, no USAF test pilots flew the XF-84H. With the likelihood that the engine and equipment failures coupled with the inability to reach design speeds and subsequent instability experienced were insurmountable problems, the USAF cancelled the program in September 1956. Although the Guinness Book of Records recorded the XF-84H as the fastest propeller-driven aircraft ever built, with a design top speed of 670 miles per hour and 623 miles per hour during tests, this claim has been disputed. The unofficial record speed is also inconsistent with data from the National Museum of the United States Air Force, which gives a top speed of 520 miles per hour making the XF-84H the fastest single-engine propeller-driven aircraft until 1989 when Rare Bear, a highly modified Grumman F-8F Bearcat reached 528 miles per hour. United States United States Air Force, the prototypes never flew in USAF pilots' hands, as they only completed the initial manufacturer's flight tests. It was retired and spent many years mounted on a pole outside Meadows Field Airport, Bakersfield, California, where its propeller turned by the use of an electric motor. 51 to 17,060, made only four flights and is assumed to have been scrapped when the project was cancelled in 1956. Its T-40 engine was reportedly used to support the Douglas A-2D Sky Shark flight test program, 